uh, open it up. Thank you. Oh, here's Fricka. I'm going to bring and, it in. Oh, perfect. Thank you. You bet. Um, okay. Athena, are you staying with us today or are you, um, do you have other stuff going on? I'm going to hang. Awesome. Okay. Um, it says he declined to be promoted as panelist. So oh. I'm just going to leave him, leave him on a lot of time. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Uh, hey, Fricka, you have to click to be promoted to a panelist. Um, and it's okay if you, um, want to keep your, your video off, um, while we while you're walking, I know you said you're heading home. Yeah, so I'm just about to leave. So I'll be listening, but my video will be off. Totally fine. Absolutely okay. fine. All right. Yeah, so you. we are going to start. Uh, I'm going to call this meeting to order at 6.33 p.m. on Thursday, November 21st. And I'm going to start by calling on everybody and seeing who's here and that you can uh, hear us and we can hear you. Let's start with Councillor Ryan. I'm here. Excellent. Uh, Lynn Griesmer. Present. Excellent. And Councillor Ate. Present. Awesome. And I am also present, so we are just missing uh, Pat DeAngelis today. We typically start with public comment. There is no one here from the public currently. Um, and so with that, we are going to move on to the town manager goals. Um, and I have them pulled up here. We did get some comments back from counselors. Um, and then I have some comments from based on the meeting. So give me one second. Sorry, I just realized I pulled up the wrong document. All right. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Okay. All righty. Does this look like where we are, what we were discussing last time? Looks familiar, yes. Yes, good. Okay. Um, so based on the council discussion, it seems like folks were supportive of the categories as we have them written. The one note that I had was there was some discussion about the last goal area um, of community and strategic relationships uh, and the question of whether that language was strong enough to get across the um, sorry the dog just knocked a bunch of stuff over uh, to get across the message of the, the strategic element that was my interpretation of that comment uh, if, if other folks have a different interpretation of it, I'm, I'm absolutely open to hearing it. Personally, I think that we will get at that through the objectives in, um, in that area. So just to scroll down here, this was the community and strategic relationships. Um, I think we get at this in the objectives. I'm also realizing this is, I had still track changed in this. So let me stop sharing for a second. Um, are folks comfortable with the language of community and strategic relationships or do other people have thoughts on that based on that one comment? I think it's fine. Sorry. Okay. Lynn, no, I think Lynn. it's fine. I think we should yeah. leave it for now. Let's not, let's focus on seeing how things fit and then come back to the overalls. Okay. That sounds good. All right. So I'm going to share the feedback that I got with the, based on the document that I um, had shared with the council. Um, I got feedback from Mandy Joe. Um, and it's tip it's hers is mostly on the objective. So if the committee agrees, I would like to um, start to start working through the objectives if that's okay. <laughs> All right. So let's start off with climate action um, and thinking about the objectives here. So in the last area, I mean, in the last um, evaluation, the different objectives were use a climate lens with making when making budgeting, construction, repair, hiring, and operational decisions. Thoughts on that as an objective for this uh, this round. I have my own, but I'd like to hear from the committee first. Lynn? I, I think we need that, but I think it should be combined with the, um, I'm not gonna get the acronym, 
correct the carp mm. using the we should use the lens with with guidance from the carp so that we can get both of those in one place and that okay. that forces the town manager to then report in relationship to the carp which is what they've done okay um any other thoughts so my take my take on this one is that the word climate lens use a climate lens is meaningless right like that is that doesn't mean anything and so i agree lynn that if we're gonna include something about that i, I think putting it in the context of the the carp makes a lot of sense um i also i need to refamiliarize with the myself with the carp but is that part of it right like one would think that that would be part of the climate action and resiliency plan is using a climate lens um and so i think we could we could revisit that but until i i'm clear on what that means like what the process is to use a climate lens because i think people could use it to justify or use different degrees of it uh i don't i don't like writing it because i don't feel like it's getting us somewhere unless the action item is define the process that is a climate lens lynn the reason i choose choose that is because the um it has clearly defined goals <clears throat> we've asked that they report on those goals yearly and in many ways those define the areas by which we should be looking through a climate lens anyway but what is a climate lens sorry 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 i didn't just get to... well i mean it's it, climate application i uh, the wordsmith of lens isn't the issue i'm getting at i don't like it any more than anything else but i just want to remind you that later on we use the word lens again in a whole different context and i have issue with that one too don't worry okay. <laughs> um councillor ryan so what happened to the first sentence of the existing uh goals uh -oh, which sorry. says to continue to make progress on the council's climate action goals and to prepare the town to be resilient in the face of climate change. Um, that's what I put into my draft document as kind of the overarching objective, um, to make progress on our, on our stated climate action goals and to prepare the town to be resilient in the face of climate change. Um, and uh, so why is that not the, the main statement here? And then what a climate lens means, I, I have the same sort of problem with that kind of phrasing, but uh, what it seems to mean to me is looking at um, the kinds of budgeting, construction, blah, 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 decisions um, in the light of our climate action goals and in, in the light of our commitment to preparing the town to be resilient in the face of, 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 of climate change. So um, I take the lens to, to mean uh, basically using our basically that first statement so mm -hmm. um i don't see why that isn't the objective and then everything else would go into specific action items um or you yeah. could perhaps incorporate um that first uh, an item in the in the existing goals you could simply say by using a climate lens when but again it seems like what that just means is follow the you know pay attention to the climate action goals and 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 so why you know i think this is adequate just as it is and then specific items would go under action how does the climate lens add anything to this it, statement i have it I'm, doesn't. Not worried, I'm not married to climate lens at all i didn't think you were um i, I think but does Jordan, it i agree yeah. it, does it, it add right it doesn't mean anything but well, um so I, I i my other question for you is so there's continue to make progress on the council's climate action goals and prepare the town to be resilient in the face of climate change part of me thinks that we almost should get rid of the word and here so my first thought is i wonder if we should get rid of the word and and says continue to make progress on the council's climate action goals to prepare pre to prepare the town to be resilient in the face of climate change mm -hmm. my other question was whether a second objective is this one which is support the development of climate action focused bylaws um, because I think that that's the, mm. these are kind of the two prongs of it, right? This is the, what are the things in the kind of within that executive function? And then this is the, what the council would be working on. Mm. Uh, Lynn? Mm -hmm. So first of all, I agree with getting rid of the word and in the first one. Mm -hmm. And second of all, it seems to me that 
uh, again, this is where we would all need to go to look at the carp. Um, yeah. But I believe it might refer already to legislation. So in some ways, I see action as legislation, mm -hmm. budget, you know, building um, inventories, you know, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Vehicle fleet inventories, all that. Yeah, exactly. So can I ask a question? Do do we have separate council climate action goals from what's been identified in the CARP? We have three climate action goals, and then the CARP was built upon them. They're, they're right in the the beginning statement of the CARP. I have another room. I just it's, you know, it's something like something about carbon neutrality. Yeah, by what percentage by 2050 and stuff like that. It's it's basically mirrors the state goals. Okay. Councillor Ryan. So we have the FY24 ECAC annual report, um, mm -hmm. which I've been scanning. And um it has a number of uh it sort of gives us a, an update as to where we stand in a whole set of areas. And it would seem, I don't know if it's our task, but at some point um uh, we need to incorporate some of this into um specific action items if that's what the council wants to do. But basically, this is this is our eyes and ears on, on climate is ECAC. It, it's certainly not me. Um, and, uh, you know, so we want to use the work that they have done in the past year and look at their recommendations and see if there's anything in that that we could particularly focus on. Um, but uh, it's a it's a many page document um, and there's a lot of stuff in here. The question is what what could be highlighted or focused on, if if anything, is is to my mind, um, in terms of that column of action items. George, but yeah, but back to the what, object, yeah. Uh, yeah, go ahead. The objective column, you, you say support the development of climate action focused bylaws. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I mean, that is the way that we, as a council, mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Yeah. So. This is to kind of give some context to this one. So first, actually, George, mm -hmm. what year did you say the document you were referencing? What year was that from? It's FY. It's the most recent report. It came to us uh, yeah. like uh, three weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you know, right. a couple years ago, I was the ECAC liaison and I worked yeah. with the chair and they developed priority area goals for that they wanted to recommend to the council, yep. which I actually found to be very helpful as we went into the goals discussion because there's so much there in, in the CARP, there's so much. Um, and and having ECAC look at it in the current context, because every year we get further away from when the CARP was written and things shift, it was really helpful to have ECAC look at it and kind of do a quick reprioritization and, and refocus for the coming year. Um, that could be something that we as a council think about asking uh, for for this particular area because it's so linked to that specific committee um, that could or, or specifically within the CARP. It doesn't even need to be this goal area. It could just be like within the CARP. What do you want us to what are your recommendations? That's a thought. The second thing, uh, the context for the climate action focused bylaws, this was this came out of a desire last year. Lynn, I'm, I'm going to look to you to, to support me on this um, as I try to recount this. This last year came out of a desire for specifically waste hauler to be written into uh, the town manager goals because there was a concern that with one of the primary sponsors leaving the council, it might not get as much focus in the coming year. And so the sponsors wanted it written into the town manager goals to kind of assure that progress would get made. And then the conversation was, well, we don't want to limit it to just waste hauler. We don't necessarily want to put specific bylaws in here because there are other ones. And so we ended up, GOL ended up at this kind of medium place, or actually, I think this was actually at the council, this, this got written, um, was there's climate action bylaws, including um, the waste hauler, solar bylaw, and other that might come up. We wanted to leave space for if other ones came up. Um, so that was why that that was why that initially got in here was counselors wanting to make sure that the town manager was going to continue to focus on these in the coming year. 
don't yeah, know if that's I have helpful. Yeah, I have a language in front of me. Yeah, I support the development of climate action focused bylaws, including the waste hauler bylaw that could include universal curbside compost pickup and mm -hmm. pay fee structure, comma, solar bylaw, comma, and other potential bylaws. I know. I, I just I wanted to clarify like what why those were yeah, written. Yeah, I understand there, so why, why they're there. For and, better and maybe or for worse. Yeah. So this should probably stay. And I think it, it in, un, yeah, or not, but uh, under it would be then specific, you know, bylaws that, that the, the council wants items. him to work on. Yeah. And I, you know, or, yeah. Do you think that, I think the point you were making earlier was, do you think we should clarify this? To, should we separate out? Do we need to separate out executive and legislative here? Or do we think that we can kind of keep it as written here? See, personally, the action items. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Per, no, you're fine. Personally, I would want to play around with changing this to say, uh, can make progress on, take action on the portions of the climate action adaptation and resilience plan that have been prioritized to prepare, because I don't think that this is necessarily meaningful. Um, we haven't really talked about Council's climate action goals, we refer to the CARP because it's a more actionable document um, and it gives specific things that we should be doing. So part of me th wants to change that first part to be about the CARP and, and taking action on those items. But what we also could say is none of us have read this en recently enough and we should come back to this one after we've read the CARP. Um, Councilor Ryan? Uh, let's hear from Lynn first. I'm still digesting okay. some of this. Lynn? So I, I think it could say to continue to make progress on the council's climate action goals. We have specific goals. Mm -hmm. at, guided by, and then the CARP, in order or to prepare the town. In other words, put CARP right in there. Mm -hmm. but, but there really are a very serious set of three goals. And we've not. What are they? I, I'll go find them. We adopt. We adopted them in our first term. I go, remember. Go I, I just look. can't remember what they are, and I feel I'll like. Go look. Um, that yeah, because yeah. we should be referencing them more. Like they should, you know. I think it's. We have an entire body whose existence is 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 to implement and to work on these, and they have. We have a six-page report from them, about three or four weeks old. Uh, which lists a set of, of of suggestions. I'm not sure how many of them are actually actionable from our perspective, but why are we trying to do their work? Um, we're not going to take the place of of ECAC, um, and uh, so it it seems like this language is perfectly adequate. Um, if you want to reference CARP, fine, um, but essentially everything is in that. Um, and then the question becomes: Given that, what are some specific things in the coming year? that we as a council think that, that the town manager should focus on. Um, and a lot of that would be guided, I think, by e ECAC, or at least by the report, um, right? So that's mm -hmm. really what we should be looking at is that report. George, I think that's really fair. I just made a note, the committee should revisit the ECAC report and the council climate action goals yeah. and come back to this as well. I also yeah. think I, I would want the, e the ECAC recommendations I think part of the power of these is that this is where we can uplift that, not necessarily that specific report, but those action items that they want to prioritize um, because this is the guiding document for the town manager. So I, I see that report as guiding us on how to guide the town manager in that area. Councilor um, Ette has his hand up. I see that. Thank you. Uh, uh, Councilor Ette, and then we'll come back to Lynn. Yes, I think that's uh, the points that maybe emphasized, which is that the EC, AC had a report and in the meeting I attended, they were willing to have the chair stop by to explain what would be a priority for the ECAC. And so if that is an offer that they are willing to take up, I think we could reach out to them. Okay. I'm um, just making a note here. And then I, I wonder with this statement as it stands in the first uh, box, whether the second statement can just come out and that would then go under specific action items. Mm -hmm. That's just, I've just thought, maybe we'll come back to it, but mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah. Okay. Let's so so what I'm hearing right now is I think we as a, a committee need a bit more clarity. Oh, I'm sorry, Lynn. So over under actions, just so we don't lose sight of them. Mm -hmm. I would list solar bylaw. Just don't don't even worry about sentences. Just almost brainstorming at this point. Mm -hmm. Solar bylaw, uh, waste hauler bylaw, and mm -hmm. and I don't even want to get into words like explore whether we're going to do it or whatever. That to me is develop the. That would mean that the line. Okay, I see what you're doing. Leave it there for the moment. Um, is there anything else we want to kind of make sure we remember here is all I'm going to say at this point. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm actually going to the town manager's goals. I think that I'm going to have more. Um, for me, one of the things that uh, I know they've been working on is the transition plan for vehicles. And I think that that's really close to being done. The other thing that's in the last year goals is the community choice aggregation um yeah, which we and done. yeah um other than that climate lens uh bylaws carp and lens, federal funds supported development of bylaws including waste hauling composting federal i i i don't want to even see state and federal funds in here anymore that goes in one place under administration mm -hmm. i agree um, mm -hmm. we've hit them all we have hit I think everything so. that was I, in the last. I think so. So I think what we'll what we'll talk about at the next time when we come together, once we've done that homework, is kind of what goes in the action items for this box, right? What are the right. specifics for here? All right. right. Um, Let oh sorry, George. So again, you should note, I mean you already probably have that that people should go through the the ECAC report because there's a mm -hmm. number of specific items in here that you know, we may think are something that the that the manager should be focusing on related to uh, these larger goals, like, for instance, the heat pump program or um, a yeah. whole bunch of other things. As a matter of fact, there's so many things that we may get overwhelmed, but still, yeah. um, there's a, a list of, of things. Um, the actual final page, which says town manager goals suggestions, unfortunately, in my reading, doesn't really isn't very helpful. Um, but a lot of the detail in the earlier part of the report as to what is ongoing, um, we could pick out a couple of things. Um, and and say these are things we'd like to see the the manager work on and support, um, and then see what the rest of our counselors think. Um, yep. But I think yeah, I think you'll find that the page six, at least um, I think, is is a noble effort, but it doesn't really help us very much. But there's other stuff in it earlier that I think could be useful. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna ask that it be placed in the um, packet for our next meeting, okay. uh, and I'm and I will ask you know folks who have suggestions for what action items should be. Yeah. Um, placed in this, if if you're a member of the public, please email us those suggestions, um, and and we will review them um, as well. But I think we'll look at the ECAC report. We will. Um, what else did I note here? Uh, and and the council climate action goals. And I will ask for both of those to be in the packet for next time, so that um, we've got them as a reference. I. Uh, there's one yeah. other item that should guide mm -hmm. all of these goals, and that is we need to look at what the town manager wrote in his self-evaluation because he's given us clues into new things that we haven't even listed. Okay. Okay. Yep. Good idea. All right. Let's move on to um, community health and safety. So knowing that we're going to come back to, to this, continue to come back to this. All right. Uh, Lynn? Lynn? I, I just like to make one more plea to see whether there's any way we could come up with a title for this that would embrace racial justice. So, because if we think about it, let me just say I I appreciate the conversation we had at the council the other night. We were all tired, but we really haven't reduced the number of goals very much. And I'm still trying to figure out how to reduce them. So it's just a note as to whether or not there's any way without losing social justice, racial and social justice as a priority, that we could have it with this title as well somehow. Because if you actually look at the two goals and the actions under them, it, it, 
includes crests and a couple other things that are very duplicative. So Lynn, I, 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 no, I hear you. I think that we don't know whether or not we've reduced the number of goals yet because the goals that we're actually going to be looking at are the action items, right? So my, the, the objective here is to get the number of action items to be lower than the 80 whatever that were there last year um, and that they be actionable so they're not up for interpretation. I think that right now we have, I mean, even though we've dropped slightly the number of goal areas, what really we don't know the count until we finish the action items. Um, so that's why I think controlling as we go is really important, but I don't know that combining categories, if we're going to have the same amount of action items is going to help because like when we go next year to do the evaluation, we are evaluating on the action items within these areas. Um, if that makes sense, right? Those are, those are the checkbox goals that we're looking at. So under this goal last time was mm -hmm. re rental registration. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've adopted the bylaw. We've uh, it's in process. We've mm -hmm. asked for a kind of an annual update on it. I don't know that we even need to admit it. it you know, continue to implement rental registration. That would be no. I don't good. think it needs to be in here. Uh, the next one is continue to implement and assess CRESS. Mm -hmm. That I think we do need in there. Mm -hmm. uh, resident oversight board. I think we do need that in there. Safe Sorry, I keep talking. I just need a minute. You can keep I'm going. Just, I'm going for big words at this point. Uh, public safety protocols, it's still being worked on. So yes, it does need. And programming for youth empowerment. Those four are still outstanding objectives or actions under these. Interestingly enough, unlike a lot of other um, goals and objectives, those are a lot more clear. They're pretty there's deliverables you can associate with those. Yeah, I agree. I was listening the whole time because headphones. Um, Lynn, I I agree that those have deliverables and are actionable, and I think that there's a good discussion to be had about what fits under this banner of community health and safety and what fits under racial equity and social justice. Mm -hmm. I don't like combining them because I think that there are things that could go under the banner of community health and safety either now or in the future that don't necessarily fit under the banner of racial equity and social justice. Um, I think they are a Venn diagram, but they're enough separate um, that I feel like keeping them separate is, is valid. Um, but I do think that there are things that fit from the old goals that might be moved. Um, I think for the continue, the, okay, so if we just think about the, go ahead, Councilor Ryan. I think we can come back to this. Um, I argued last time that we should keep them separate. Um, I, I'm, I see the force of what Lynn is saying. When you look at these particular items, um, they um, they're pretty much focused on the issue of, of, of race and racial justice. Um, and so, why shouldn't they? Why shouldn't that be considered part of community health and safety? Um, but let's, for the moment, I think we're not going to resolve this. But I, I, I'm a little bit more sympathetic this evening to what Lynn is driving at. Um, I think when we finally go through and, and start putting in action items, maybe that will help us. I just want to make an observation about this category and, and just point out that the senior, the word senior or seniors mm -hmm. is not mentioned here. And that that's not acceptable to me. I, I, we need mm -hmm. to um, craft some kind of statement that, that uh, acknowledges um, the condition and the challenges that our seniors face in our community and the towns need to begin to address them or continue to address them. So that's something that's glaringly missing from my perspective that I'd like to see added at some point under this category, that seems to be the right place for it mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. As to the larger issue of collapsing this uh, into one single goal, um, I'm still, I'm not against it completely. Um, 
but we're not going to resolve it tonight. Let's let's just see how it plays out. But could we please have something about seniors somewhere in this document? Mm -hmm. Yep, I just added a comment here when we get to the action items. Um, that that makes a well, lot of sense. Should, yeah, it should be. Yeah, uh, um, and I'll I'll try to work up something myself. But um, okay, uh, this has we need to really acknowledge that we have youth empowerment. Um, fine, but um, uh, this is a crucial uh, element of our community that has traditionally been, I think, ignored, and that's not right. It needs to be in here. So when we look at the objective, the big picture vision for this area, is it fair to say, ensure the safety of residents of Amherst and maintain the health of the community? I mm -hmm. ask that because I, you know, I think maybe that's just the open question. Is, is this a fair objective? If yeah. we like it, that's fine. Okay, great. Lynn likes it. George, do you, how do you feel about it objective wise? It's very broad, but I think it, it mm -hmm. many things fall under it, but it, it is one of the fundamental uh, objectives, it seems, uh, uh, of any kind of, you know, good community is that it it, it is concerned about the overall safety, well-being mm -hmm. and health. Uh, so you, you could put in well-being if you wish. Um, um, there's there's the actual sort of safety issues. There's questions of, of, of which is well-being and overall, you know, quality of life. And then there's the question of health. Um, right. So community health and safety. I'd like the well-being in there somewhere, but it, it doesn't, you know, something to that effect. But yeah. I think it would be say, fair to say health and well-being of the community. I, my question is, are we healthy and are we well? Can we say no. maintain or can we say <laughs> develop or like support? Right. Cause I, I honestly, I think it's that to ensure is... it's to ensure something. It's sure. Yeah. It's fine. Safety. To ensure. Right. We want to make sure that people are safe. We want to um, do what we can to ensure that, 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 that they're, they're healthy and that they have that overall quality of life is, is as good as we can possibly make it as a community. Okay. So and, you know, edited two years it, back, yeah. there was COVID. That was that was a very serious. That's, right, that's what I'm. That's, absolutely. Yeah, but that doesn't. Yeah, we're very lucky that we do not have a, uh, lots of lead pipes in town. But if we did, mitigation of that would be that under would this be, goal. Yes, right, like that's that's the kind of thing where yes. yeah. Okay, so we've got to ensure the safety, health, and well-being of the Amherst community. You know, I mean, you, you, I'm sorry, you also, again, thinking into objectives, you know, one of the things that's come up repeatedly this year, for me at least, has been the whole issue of safe routes to school and mm -hmm. keeping our young people safe and, and, and making it possible for them if they wish to bike or walk to school in safety. That's also mm -hmm. a, a part of our uh, roads and sidewalks issue. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, but it's... Uh, it's so that, many grants are available. I look forward to an action. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, we'll put you on that. Um, but uh, so that's another topic there, another yeah. element to go here. Absolutely. Um, right. But yes, covers a lot. Okay. Good. Lynn, did you have a thought on this phrasing? I, I keep wondering why under actions you're not listing what we what we're going to keep from the existing goals. Because I haven't touched actions yet. Um, I was really okay. focusing All on right. objectives, but okay. but we, if you want right. to do that, we can absolutely just do that now. While we're there, we might as well. Sure, well, let's do it. I have, a, I have a problem with that is that that's already four action statements and we're going to add a couple more and pretty soon the action items are going to become a huge oh. laundry list. Um, well, we haven't decided whether we're keeping them or not. So let's yeah. let's okay. talk about them, Lynn. That's absolutely fair. So yeah. first one was facilitate the implementation of the rental registration bylaw. Yeah, we have talked I, about yeah. how that has been enacted and do we really need an action item that says continue to do it i no, think i'm seeing no, a lot of no's no, okay no, no. number two was continue implementation and assessment of the community responders for equity safety and service department um i i have a question about this one not yeah. because i don't think it's a good action item but because i think it's two we have not seen the plan of assessment for crest yet um and it has not necessarily been so present it could forward. be present a, an assessment so yeah, I, I kind of see this as yeah. I see this as two smaller action items. And and Lynn, I know that we we talk about the num concern about um the the number of action items, but I also think that if they're if they're smaller, is that does that change it, right? Like if it's a, a smaller action item of present an assessment plan for the CREST program. Um 
versus one action item of implement and assess. I'd rather have two that are versus having one that is two ultimate things. Right. Does that, I don't know. What do you, I, okay. I personally think that basically it's the town manager's responsibility to do the assessment and to present it to us. I don't think we, do, we need to approve the assessment plan. No, it's not what I meant. Sorry. I was just thinking about what the, I don't, I think implementation and assessment should be two separate action items is what I was saying. Well, we've implemented CRESS. Yeah, it's it's implemented, right? I mean, it, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, at this point, it's a free. It's a an ongoing program. The real issue so is. So, do we need that as an action item? I think if we, we just said to, we were taking we out. No, no. I think it needs to be assessed. Yes. Okay. So, conduct assessment of the the CRESS department. Or program and report, and report back to the council. Yeah, and and, uh, and report back. To all of this is report back to the council. Okay, that's so maybe that's, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Well, you could tell us I've done the assessment. And, <laughs> and he's. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Next up was proposed to the town council a plan for the creation of a resident oversight board consistent with the council's vote. Still needs to do that. Okay. Do we, should we keep it in here as is? Yeah, okay. I think so. I, okay. I don't have an issue with it as is either. Okay. okay. All right. Um, undertake a review of public safety protocols. If anything, it's continued to make, un undertake the review, but that's, it's not done. Maybe it should say complete the review. Hmm. <clears throat> Um, was that vote? Did that vote? I'm sorry, George. No, complete the review. Yeah, it's yeah. Thank All you. All right, fine. Full sentences. Yeah, right. um, no, no, it's fine. Do you, Lynn, with that vote, I'll have to, I can look it back up, but was that vote also including making recommendations for changes? And is that something that the council would even approve? It's been wishy washy in the past about who. Uh, only if it if, if it's uh, relates to bylaws, uh, if it's actually part of negotiations with police contracts or that kind right. of. Right. We have nothing to say about it. It's right. Just, it's we we adopted under the uh, recommendations from the um, CSS CS no CSWG CSWG. We yeah. adopted that they should do this safety protocol and in Paul's annual evaluation he mentioned that it was underway but not completed okay and then last was develop programming for youth empowerment still ongoing okay so we're also talking about just for the record adding in uh something relating to seniors and something mm -hmm. relating to safe routes to schools so yeah. i do think that this is one where we're going to have to talk about uh manageability um, and for the record, what I've been talking about with Paul or what I talked about with Paul was us getting a bit further, getting uh, an idea of where we're going. And then I'm going to meet with him to get his feedback on it as well. Um, and I will bring that feedback back to the committee to discuss in terms of kind of what's feasible for so him. You're, his you're not going to ask him to actually come to a meeting? I asked him what he'd prefer. And I think that it was he he wanted to sit down and talk about it and then possibly come to a meeting. Okay. Um, but I think for the first round, I was going to just present it to him and get some initial feedback. Mostly, I think I'm going to assume timing wise. I don't I don't know if he needs to come to a whole other full meeting um, right off the bat. George, did you say that you would think about or come up with a proposal or proposed wordage for wordage verbiage? Yes, for seniors. For seniors? Absolutely. OK. Yes, right. yes, yes, yes. Um, OK. Is there anything else under community health and safety other than what we're going to come continue to come up with? No, those were the only three, the only two extras. I have questions about this last one. Develop programming for youth mm -hmm. empowerment. Um, are we expecting new programming for youth empowerment every year? This is something that this, the town manager talked a lot about in his self-evaluation this year of what programs they were offering. I'd like to know what completion of this looks like. Yeah, what would it mean? Could, right. Yeah. Interestingly enough, I... I 
actually had a conversation recently with Paul about this, and the first part of this has been done. There is now a, an assessment. It's just like done in the last day or two, an assessment of what existing youth programs we have throughout mm -hmm. Amherst, and it, it's huge. It's a huge number. Mm -hmm. And the real question is, what is our role in pulling it together? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think there's some people who are going to say, I won't stop short of having a youth empowerment center. Mm -hmm. And yet, when you think about all the ways in which you might do youth empowerment, it would be a huge mega center because it would have a gym and it would have food and it would have blah, blah, blah. So mm -hmm. um, I I don't think the council has ever come to a con decision about whether or not we're willing to support an actual freestanding, standalone right. youth empowerment center. And because then, yeah. Yeah, then it gets... It, caught up in the issue of and BIPOC led or should it be for black youth or you know it just mm -hmm. the reality is this this assessment of our existing youth programs should give people a lot of questions. So Lynn is it that we're asking him simply to to come to us with this or send us this assessment we're not really asking him to develop programming that's been done, and it apparently has been done extensively. So I don't think this really belongs here. It should be something, to, if, if anything at all, should be something to the effect of, you know, report back to us uh, with, you know, your assessment of the current state of youth uh, uh, programming in Amherst. Um, is, is that what we, it sounds like that's what we want. Well, I mean, we Why can we recommend to the council, but I will tell you that at a council meeting, if we put in just, you know, assess youth programs or you know share assessment of youth programs across amherst that will not be satisfactory to some counselors well so i think satisfactory to, to seven i don't know i think my issue here is that this is vague and to me insinuates that we should be creating new programs right, every year yeah, and i don't right. think that that is a fair ask of our town staff when who, who are already asked to maintain and continue i think that if I do think this is a bigger discussion of what's the direction the council wants to go, because whether it's a youth empowerment center versus youth programming are two really different things. So I, I think Lynn, what I'm hearing from your, your point is this is something the council is going to need to vote on and I need better verbiage here. So yes. if this is something the council wants to include, I am, I would support taking this out, not because I don't support youth programming, but because I don't think that we should be expected to develop new programming every year, and this needs a better end goal, um, end result. So until it's actually clearly articulated, I don't want to put it in there. Um, but I think this is something that we should talk about with the council in terms of why it's not in there. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So I'm going to say um, remove until clearly articulated and voted on. So you don't believe remove and replace. It's just take it out completely and have a discussion with the council where in that discussion, it, the point would be made that we're really now waiting to get an assessment of existing youth programming because a fair mm -hmm. amount has been created and does exist. And before we can make any further recommendations or steps, we need to have some sense of what actually exists. And we yeah. don't. And Lynn says we're going to get something like that. So and an evaluation of it, how effective it is and, and who it serves and uh, right before we talk about anything else. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, do we want to go on to economic vitality for yeah. next? All right. So economic vitality, the objective um first objective ugh, i can never tell hang on i'm gonna see if i can view this as not um there's that word well-being again i think <laughs> i don't like a dash in well-being i think this is just me well, uh i just gotta it say just needs to come out and just i just, say, I just like it as president one future nice economic word. health of the town we're really talking about the economic health of the town yeah it is i don't yeah. know what I, uh, yeah what's the well-being right. you know this town is never well so 
<laughs> okay. It's always so, something. Always there's something. always I mean, something. something there's always something you know there are always opportunities to fix something um all right so first objective is to ensure the present and future economic health of the town um i don't know that you can ensure future economic health i don't think that that's a fair thing but i will let it go i think that's me being picky uh i don't ensure feels like promise and and plan for or or um you know uh, something to that effect i don't know it really is about long range planning um, and uh, uh, I agree. I mean, it's it's a goal. It's it's right. Yeah, it's, right. That's an objective. You're right. You're so right. You're right. It's it's it, an right? objective. That's fair. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Okay. Um, Mandy had some edits in here, uh, and I think it's fair. So uh, these are Mandy's edits. These are Mandy's edits. Oh, okay. All right. Mandy sent okay. me some direct edits. Um, okay. and then right. Pam sent me some some um suggestions, not as track yeah, changes. But, yeah. So. Pam said, I mean, sorry, Mandy said to work with closely with local institutions and business entities to promote diverse neighborhoods, commercial enterprises, new growth in downtown and village centers. She proposed striking affordable housing. I agree. Um, I think we have a housing affordability entire goal. I don't think it right. needs to be an it economic vitality. Right. Right. Does that make sense to other folks? Counselor Ete, your face is here. Um, Councilor Ate, can we just I recognize sure that man? Okay. I know. Hello. He's he's much healthier. You're everyone. muted, oh, but he's got that glow. He's got a glow about him. <laughs> that glow. His, That's a his, good lighting. His being is well. His, well his being is well. Ooh, I think we need to rephrase everything to say the being of the economic entities right. in Amherst That's are right. well. Okay. I all have right. a problem with this though. Um tell me tell me your diverse. problem. Diverse. I don't what does diverse mean? Diverse neighborhoods. What does what diverse does mean? neighborhoods mean? Great question. Um, what kind of diversity are we talking about? Economic diversity, ethnic diversity, racial diversity, religious diversity. I, um, what is I, diverse mean here? I don't think, I don't understand how, uh, I have a lot of questions about this one too. I don't understand how this is economic vitality to work closely with institutions and business entities to promote diverse neighborhoods. So yeah, I'm yeah. not clear on how you work with well, I guess I, 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 I think it I depends know what on it means, what you categorize. I I, I yeah, I don't know. I'm struggling. Lynn? I don't think I know where it came from, but, uh, you know. Lynn? So, to me, this and housing should go together. Okay. But but what does it mean to you, Lynn? Are you talking about means, economic diversity? Are you talking about people of, of various different... Well, you know, right. What are we talking about here? Affordable housing is a way to ensure economic diversity. That's under affordable housing. This or housing right. affordability. This is economic vitality. This is about working with local institutions and businesses to um, promote commercial enterprises and new growth in the downtown and village. That's what this is about. Is part of this because this. many of our business entities are building housing? I'm sorry. And that's why is it is part of this because when we often when we think of at first when we think of economic vitality we think mom and pop shops right but the reality is that much of our economic vitality is in the industry of housing. So are, is this referring to working with local institutions? I read that as colleges and universities um, and business entities to promote diverse neighborhoods. Is this the business entities that have the power to be building neighborhoods? Right. What is right? Does that who's make sense? To, who's he supposed to be working with here? So I think my question is, Mm -hmm. I don't know what my question is. Lynn, I'm sorry, Lynn. Your I, hand is I up. really want to just have you step back and and in a in a whole world, mm -hmm. what do we need to do to have our community be strong in terms of its economic vitality? And that's why I say. Mm -hmm. Sure, we need to work well with businesses. And, you know, and so we've been working on trying to streamline permitting, all that other good stuff. Mm -hmm. Another, and, and that really, you know, continues over on the other. But I will also tell you that I've continued to hear complaints, not about that, but about the new health inspector. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then the other piece, though, is what are we doing around housing for where our people live? And how are we helping to bring in and make our housing diverse in terms of economic um, ability. 
And so to me, the two are so married to each other. And I, I know people are going to want housing to be in there. Um, oh, she's trying to shrink the goals again. This uh -huh. is a goal shrinking move. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to shrink them. I know. I don't I think that you. that Lynn, I, Lynn, I, I hear you, but I don't think that combining them necessarily shrinks the number of action items. Um, that would be my my concern here, George. Sorry, George. I, yeah. Um. I mean, Lynn is right in the sense that housing is, is crucially connected to economic vitality. Um, mm -hmm. But again, I'm because housing is complicated and it's got also the affordable aspect attached to it. Um, I'm, I still think it probably has to stand alone as its own category. Um, but can we just focus for a moment? On, I mean, let, economic vitality, essentially, it means working with what? The bid, the chamber? Is it talking yeah. about Amherst College and UMass? Um, you know, these are these are broad terms. What local institutions? I guess that means the, the university and the colleges. Um, mm -hmm. It also means, does it mean the chamber and the bid? Or are they business entities? Um, uh, there are businesses like restaurants and shops and so on. And then there, you know, there are organizations that serve them like the bid and the chamber. Are we asking Paul, which he already does to some degree, uh, work more work closely with uh, the university and the colleges and the bid and the chamber to um, you know, promote and develop commercial enterprises and new growth in the downtown and village centers, um, and to what degree can they actually, you know, well, anyway, is that what we're saying here? Um, so, so, if if it is, why don't we just say that? Why don't we just say work closely with the university and the colleges, college and the bid in the chamber, um, and with local businesses? Um, I hate business and. Entities. I don't know what an entity is. Uh, it's a word that I just, I don't like it, but I don't know. But is that, is that what we're asking him to do? Um, and, um, you know, I, I mean, I know what I think we need is, is actually an economic development director, but that always is a dead end. Um, I mean, I, we could try to put it in again, but it won't go anywhere. Um, but we don't have anyone who actually spends most or all of their time on this issue. And that's why it is so difficult. Um, it just falls between many stools. Um, and so once again, we're adding it to Paul's to-do list um, instead of to the to-do list of a staff member that he could assign to do this. Uh, there is no staff member he can assign to do this. Um, right. And we also should probably ask ourselves, who, you know, who in town hall is actually going to do this? It's not going to be Paul. I mean, he, he has meetings occasionally. Zomek has meetings occasionally. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the catch is catch can. Um, so yeah. George, I think that that's where I think those very valid questions tie into what are the action items that we would put here. Yeah. Um, and and again, if this is an objective, it doesn't necessarily have to have an action item every single year, right? We we could really emphasize one goal area in a year. Um, in the past, this was proposed revisions to zoning bylaws to increase and support economic development, mm -hmm. review and revise policies to support year-round population in town. I think your your point, and Lynn, I think you were saying the same thing about what is the town manager's obligation in this um, is really important as we consider what the actual action items here are. I can't, off the top of my head, think of a specific thing in the coming year. This is just me. And so I, I'm seeking ideas of what are the what are the action items that we would be proposing here say we keep this as is right now what are the action items mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. lynn and then george go ahead lynn. so again in the broader view of economic development mm -hmm. there's everything including road accessibility mm -hmm. so one could argue in this last year getting the rotary for university drive mm -hmm. promotes economic development one mm -hmm. could argue that um, a partial or full overlay on University Drive that would per allow additional housing would mm -hmm. promote economic development. Mm -hmm. um, one can argue that keeping our streets clean and our pavements in good shape promotes economic development. Yeah, one could also argue that about schools. Y'all are really just not going to let this one go on me, are you? And then you go, the schools right. could no, argue, school. you could exactly. argue the right. schools are economic <laughs> development. Yeah. So I think that any, but but to that, sorry, go ahead, George, and then I'll, I'll no, go after George. You go, I'm, I'm, I'm taking but, that. 
so to that end though, Lynn, anything that promotes a healthy community is going to promote economic development, just as economic development promotes a healthy community. You know, I think that that's where it's one of those things that I think you could argue everything fits in um, because it's part of that symbiotic relationship of a healthy community. Mm -hmm. So I think that maybe what we need to do is are there specific action items in the next year that we would propose the council approve, whether it be that master plan on sidewalks and roads, does that fit under economic vitality? I don't necessarily know, but you know, I think if there are specific action items that might help us to hone in a bit on the objectives right now, I think the objectives are really broad. I could argue that what this should just say, instead of promote diverse neighborhoods, commercial enterprises, new growth in downtown, I think that this could just say to promote economic health of the town. Um, I, I struggle with these four categories or three categories. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Lynn, sorry, go ahead. I, I've said what I want to say. <laughs> George? Sorry. So looking at the existing document, mm -hmm. um, item two, review mm -hmm. and revise town regulations to reduce barriers to operating a business in Amherst. Um, I can go back and look at Paul's self-evaluation. Maybe one of the three of you has a better grasp of this, but have we actually had any success in that area in terms mm -hmm. of, you know, is that, you know, related to, um, you know, the, the health regulations? I mean, what what is, um, you know, so that's a specific. And the question is, has that actually been done and has it been successful? And that will take time. Number The next one is proposed revisions to the zoning bylaw to increase and support economic development throughout the town, which as Lynn points out, I think she would point out, that largely involves housing. Um, and that's what's happening at, at University Drive. And it could also happen in a number of other places in town if the council were to instruct the town manager to instruct the planning director um, to instruct the planning board or encourage the planning board to continue doing what it has started to do. Um, mm -hmm. Is that a message that we'd like to send to Paul for the coming year um, to continue doing that sort of thing? Not stop at just you drive, um, but also look at some other areas, either specifying them um, uh, or at least, you know, asking them to find other areas like that in the downtown and village centers where economic development could could happen. Um, that's a specific, and it's in the existing uh, goals as we have. Okay. Do you want me to write that? Um, I'm just saying we have and... some existing goals in the current mm -hmm. document, some of which could perhaps be continued. Okay, so which ones do you want me to carry over just for now well, for the purposes of this? I'm just group? suggesting that two and three, two and three. Um, okay. could be carried over. I still don't know what four means. Yeah. I'm, I'm all ears, but I have no idea what four means. Okay. You know, I, yeah. But two and three seem, you know, I'm open to being corrected or, you know, being pointed out that we've actually done that and things are hunky-dory, at least for the first one. And, um, you know, I do think there's a lot more we could do in the second one. And I'd like to see the council encourage the manager to encourage the whoever the planning director turns out to be to continue to pursue that. Mm -hmm. I think I even, I even, if the council votes on it, I wouldn't be opposed to specifying you drive or specifying, you know, if there's a, if there's a specific project, um, that's not necessarily a revision to the zoning bylaw, but the I think that in specific less projects, yeah, the problem with specific areas is it gets, everybody gets their own particular, you know, uh, silo. It might be wiser just to say that, you know, because the planning board's already begun to think about this. Mm -hmm. and it would be nice if the council could say, yes, this is good, keep doing it, and to tell Paul that this is important and they should keep doing it. And hopefully he would uh, appoint or hire a planning director who would be uh, wanting to do this. So, George, my issue with that is I think we as a council should be 
taking a vote. And if the majority of the council votes for the town manager to prioritize looking at the, a U drive overlay, I think we should do that. My issue with this is I think that this could be interpreted in too many different ways. And so I don't think that there, I think the way that our council falls on different issues, there are certain, certain things like, what does it look like to promote healthy housing or whatever? That looks really different to a lot of different people on the council. So I think that we as a council, yes, we're going to debate and discuss it a lot, but I think we have to be taking votes on where that we want the town manager to take us to spend his time. And I think we need to give him specific direction. My concern with this is that this is still really broad. I think we should, if there's, if there are specific revisions to zoning bylaws that we want him to be looking at, we should specify this. Otherwise, we should be prepared to give him high marks if he does anything relating to zoning bylaws, right. even right. if it's not what we like, um, because that's what we're saying the goal is. The goal is to propose revisions. Whether or not we like them doesn't matter if we write it like this. Um, Lynn, then, then George. Yeah, I just want to point out that, you know, there's areas, for instance, right now that are zoned research that actually, if they were zoned business, might be developed differently. So it's not just all about housing, mm -hmm. uh, but mm -hmm. it's the, and but I also want to point out it's already seven thirty, and one of the um, proclamations, both proclamations have to get done tonight. Mm -hmm. um, and Kathy Shane is in the audience, and I think she's joined us for one of them as a sponsor. Yep. I, I saw that Kathy was here as well. Um, I will I will keep us on track with that. Thank you for the reminder. Councilor Ryan. So I agree that, that the language in this second box uh, needs to be um, sharpened um, okay. and, and made more specific. Um, right, I'm gonna I, add I, a I, comment. Yeah, but I'd like to see something like this, at least before the council mm -hmm. for them to discuss and, and vote on. Um, Along the lines of what's happening, at U I don't want, we don't need to mention U Drive as something that needs to be worked on. It's being mm -hmm. worked on, and it's going to mm -hmm. play out however it plays out. Um, the staff and Paul and the planning board and planning director have all been involved, and they've done what they are supposed to do. It's taking longer than I would have liked, but that I'm not a patient person. Um, but that kind of thing is something that I would like. I would like something like that to continue in the coming year in other parts of town. And I'm not sure I want to specifically say where. I'd like to leave that up to the planning board, the planning director. Um, I have my ideas of where it should be. I'm sure others have their ideas. But uh, ultimately, it's going to come, I think, from um, their work. Um, and so we'd, I'd just like us to encourage them to continue. I'd like Paul to see that we'd like him to encourage them to continue. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay, so before we dig into housing affordability, is there anything else we, we can pause here for tonight and go to the resolutions and then if we have time come back, but I know housing affordability will be a big one. Um, and so is there anything else around economic vitality that we want to talk about for objectives or uh, action items at this point? So yeah, this, George, connects, this connects to um, the goal that comes later in terms of uh, mm -hmm. the uh, partnership with the university and Amherst College. They're key players in this in this uh, uh, category. Does it get mentioned here as well? I mean, again, we, we don't like duplicating, um, but I think our economic the economic future of this town, in large part, will depend on how well we work with the university and with the co Amherst College in particular, um, in terms of of, of this general uh, area, along with housing. I think both these areas and are, they are crucial players, and um, maybe we'll save it for the the later uh, category, mm. but. Um, uh, is it worth mentioning it here? I don't know. Anyway. That's fair. And I think the question is mentioning it more than just alluding to so, it. Well, you're right. In, it's under local institutions. In local institutions. Again, institutions. that's why I'd like to work closely with University of Massachusetts and Amherst College, um, mm -hmm. the Amherst area, the Chamber, and the Downtown Business Group. I mean, to be specific, we want you to continue to work with these entities around these this area of economic development. You could even call it economic development if you want, instead of economic vitality. But um, anyway, whatever. And then um, I'm all right. No, no, no. Thank you. This was really helpful, and I think we're we're making good progress. We will continue to continue to work on this. Um, I'm going to save it so I don't forget. 
Uh, and I will continue to seek feedback from the council as we go, hopefully minimizing um, the amount of changes we have to make at the council level. So just as a reminder before our next meeting, if folks could uh, review and I'll make sure they're in the packet and I'll try to send them to you even before the, the packet's posted, um, review the ECAC report and the council climate action goals um, just in preparation, George. So I, I, it sounds like we're not going to get back to this tonight, which is unfortunate, but we'll see how it plays out. It looks like that's what's going to yeah. happen. Um, so I'm worried about the timeline here. Um, we meet I again on December 5th, and we mm -hmm. meet again on December 19th, and then we're done. Yep. And the council will vote on these. Lynn, when when would you expect the council normally would vote on this? On now? December 16th. 16th. So actually, we only meet once more yep. before the council is yep. supposed to vote. And mm -hmm. I don't see... Uh, well, anyway, this is the age old problem. Um, this is the age old problem. Um, there's a chance we will need to call another at some point special meeting possibly uh, or um, of GOL specifically um, on the- so We're still working on objectives. Well, we're moving, we're kind of doing both. Um, we've definitely gone into action items at this point. A little bit, okay. Anyway, it looks like we have one uh, uh, Scheduled meeting before the council is going to vote on this at the moment. Yeah. So thank December you for. December sixteenth is when they vote. Okay. Right. So um, okay. what I will do is uh, I can. I mean, would folks be open to doing a special meeting specifically for this, to, specifically for the goals, or do you have suggestions on how we might move through this in a faster way? I think we're going to have to do a special meeting. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's before December 16th. So we meet on December 5th. I guess you could meet again on December, what is it, 12th? 12th, yep. that's the thought. Uh, the, let me just mention that that's the Charter Review Committee meets that night. Okay. I personally don't care, but it, Athena can't Athena be, with us, will be but there. I think this is one of those things where we could do it with, without Athena if Athena just opened our meeting and turned it over. It's a rare instance, but it's totally possible. Yeah. Um, would our folks available on the 12th? No, let me see. I can be. Maybe that means we won't have to meet the next week and we can all go to the um, sip and stroll. I would I would enjoy that very much. Mm. I'm sorry. So people are available on December 12th or they're not? I am, I am. available. Lynn can be available. Counselor Ette, what about you? Are you? And I, I will reach out to Pat to, to ask I, her. I don't see any reason why... If, if Pat can do a meeting at all, she's not going anywhere, given okay. the present all right. state. Okay. Okay. Um, Councillor Ette, are you available on the 12th? Um, apparently, I should be. Um, okay. If there are any changes, you'll be informed ahead of time. But right now, I okay. think a good time. All right. So here's what I'm going to say. I will say let's uh, plan on a special meeting on the 12th. I would like to only focus on the goals. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to not add anything else to that agenda. I will not. Let me just rephrase. I will not be adding anything else to that agenda. Um, it will only be the goals. What I would like folks to do, if you're able to, um, I will send out the, the document um, that we've been working on just so people have a, a fresh copy of the um, of the version that we've been editing today. Um, and what I would really like for folks to do is to go through and put your suggestions in so that we, when we come together, we're kind of combining suggestions and editing each other's work versus kind of pulling from scratch. So please go ahead. And if you were king or queen or ruler of the world, what would be in your objectives and action items, bring that to the meeting and we will discuss them all together. Um, we will, we will discuss it at our uh, at our next meeting as well, which is before the 12th, I think, I hope, right? Right, the 5th. Yeah, we have a meeting on the 5th. Say, so, it seems to yeah. me like we should be able to focus on the 5th and the 12th entirely on this. I'm also going yes. to suggest that we not bring anything to the council on the 2nd, because we really don't have much more to bring. No, I think that's fair. I will ask counselors to kind of do the same thing, uh, and because it's it's been helpful to kind of know in advance what their priorities are. So I will ask counselors at the second mm -hmm. to please, if you have action items, do the same thing I'm asking of GOL, put them in the document and send it to me so that we can discuss it. Um, we may as GOL not put it in there, but uh, that way we kind of, we know, at least we'll know sort of what's coming. 
um, yeah, which will be helpful for us. Yeah. So um, Lynn, if it's okay, I, I won't bring a document to the council, but I'd like to emphasize that and, and send out yeah. that word doc to everybody um, to get their feedback. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Good work, everybody. We're, I know it's slow. This process weirdly needs to start in September, but um, yeah, that's where we're at. Okay. So let's start because Kathy has joined us. Kathy, thank you so much. Um, I cannot bring you in. If we bring Kathy in, do we have a, it doesn't matter because no, we're, we're not fine. discussing other committee members, but or committee business. Um, Athena, are you able to promote Kathy to be a panelist? I think that would be helpful. And we are going to start our discussion with the resolution opposing the expansion of the Pioneer Valley Chinese Immersion Charter School. I think um, Athena may have stepped away. I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, Kathy, we will bring you in as soon as possible. I'll try to get Athena's attention. Thank you. All right. So um, we have a lot of comments on this one. Um, Mandy sent some, Jennifer Taub sent some. I added a couple. Um, I had added myself um, as a sponsor, but I'm happy to remove myself as a sponsor as well. I, I you know, I think it's hard when GOL kind of gets an, a little bit of an unfair crack at this. And as I started going through and editing, I was like, I, I do care deeply. So I had tossed my name in there, but I didn't check with the other sponsors first. So. I'm just sharing that I'm not attached to my name being on there or not. All right. Um, starting off, Mandy had deleted Town of Amherst. We have been keeping Town of Amherst in our resolution title, so I would like to reject that proposed change um, from a form, from a consistency standpoint. We have specified Town of Amherst. She doesn't like it, but that's what we've been doing. Um, and I added the word the in the beginning here. Mm -hmm. um counselor Ate, any other issues on the title um no i was just going to ask if this particular version of the document is in sharepoint the comments were not in sharepoint because i couldn't share opinion okay from other people um until we were uh discussing it if that makes sense. So, but but this version without the comments was in SharePoint. Unless I did something wrong. Yes, it, it, it was there. It's okay. just that the size is a bit small on the screen. So I can't oh, see sorry, let me see. the changes. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. yeah. Is that better? That's better. Thank you. Okay. Um, and then I made these in alphabetical order. Uh yes, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. Um I don't actually want to uh, participate in the words okay. part, but I did see some of the comments on the accuracy of statements. So I just wanted to speak to those if I can okay. be about them. A um, absolutely. And also to impress some people on the urgency of getting this done. There's uh, the last point that we can submit a public statement is December 13th. Um, on on the expansion, and the schools have now um, done an excellent letter. So one of the questions in this is: this the regional, or is it the regional and the school? At the point I drafted it, we just had the region, but this the school, uh, Emmer School Committee has also passed this on the nineteenth, and it we are, there will be a, a signed letter by the superintendent with her name on their letterhead um, that we can attach to this resolution. So where it says, which is it RC, it was left vague because I wasn't sure by the time we were looking at this that it would be through on both, but I confirmed today that it went completely through. So where you see regional school and just- um, the Wait, hang on, sorry, Kathy, can I pause you right there? So just specifically in this line, should it read the Amherst School Committee exposed the expansion of PVCICS in 2017 and the Amherst region, Amherst Pelham Regional Schools voted to send a letter opposing? Is that what you're saying? So the so Amherst Regional School and the Amherst School Committee. Okay. Both of the committees have voted at first when I wrote it and later you'll see it says some regional because at the point 
I drafted it, only the regional had acted. Mm -hmm. So wherever, I'm just going to, I don't want to go through each line, mm. but there were questions on a couple, which committee are we talking about? And the footnote now should be a reference to that letter as of November, I guess, 19th, which would have been Tuesday when they did the second vote and they added her signature to it. So I just, that's just, um, yes, exactly. Okay. okay. So then I, I, I saw that um, Mandy had raised a question about the paragraph that says almost 3 million. This is directly from Desi data and I can share a screen with you. It's if you, ha you have to go up a little bit. I think is this, this one It's highlighted in purple. It says nearly three million, and right. she's yep. it, that can't be through. It's two point nine seven million, so it's nearly that is transferred as full tuition to PVCIS for the one hundred and twenty eight. So I am not counting the other charters. And if I have a screen, I can share if you want to see it, or I can copy and paste it. But Desi does a printout that for every school that sends to the Chinese Emergent gives the total tuition, and that's the number I'm using there. Okay. Um, okay. And okay. so I, I sent Lynn some notes on this, but if you need, we don't usually put source notes in there, but that is um, when I said nearly. So it's confusing because the net we spend each year, once the state reimburses part of it, is 3.2. These, mm -hmm. these are two different. I'm just referring to the tuition. Got it that's sent to them. Thank um, you, Kathy. And and for the record, we have started putting some footnotes in to clarify data points like that. Um, it might be helpful if you are prepared to speak to that at council, but um, I don't know if the committee would like to have a source. Uh, I do think, uh, so I do think it would be helpful to say according to DESE, whereas according to DESE, flawed funding formula or somewhere in here, specify where that came from. Okay, the the. the okay. I'm gonna hang on. I'm gonna have Lynn go and then Kathy come yeah, back. Yeah, uh, Kathy. Um, yeah. So we pay three million, near nearly three million in tuition, and then there is reimbursement, and so the reimbursement is part of the formula. So at this point, it sounds like even with the application of the formula, we pay three million. Where in fact. Once the formula is applied, I think we only pay like 2.3 or something. Yeah, yes. And so I can give you the, the net impact on us is not nearly three. That's correct. So, so I, can, I can fix this. I have to. I actually have an argument to be made that this is not clarity, consistency, nor actionability. Well, it I is think clarity. This is, it's accuracy. Um, I, I think that there's, I think my issue on clarity is about cl clarity in, in my mind, and I'm willing to hear from the committee, but clarity in my mind is, is this understandable? Um, I, I think that, Kathy, if you have other language you want to propose I, in this I, well, area. If I wanted to make it super simple, it would say the, the funding formula sends nearly $3 million in tuition um, from Amherst and Amherst Regional based on DESE data. But I can I can wordsmith that and send it back to you and then give you a source note. So what Lynn is saying is that the net impact on us is not that same number because we get reim a partial reimbursement for it. So it's, it's more like two and a half. And I had to compute that number because this is referencing just PVCIS. I have it for the whole charter group. This is just for that group. Um, okay. And, gonna... oh, and so here's the issue. I am not going to be at the council meeting. So for me, the best way to do was if you, you to clean up this language, I can take the language and give you a much more um, academic way of stating this, and I can put the source note in it. But so, it, Kathy, the only so I'm yeah. sorry, you could have cleaned that, but it wouldn't be the as voted by GOL, so both would have to be in the packet. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's the only issue. Um, yep. But I want to just go quickly to the other committee members because they may have questions for you as we go. Lynn, and then we'll come back to you. Lynn? 
again, the moment you say formula, it means both what we send and what we get reimbursed. So it's either... It should be assessment, assess, assesses this amount intuition. Yeah. The formula What should it assesses. read? Whereas what DESI assesses? Whereas, should it read, whereas Amher schools pay nearly $3 million a year? It's not true. I, so I, I'm confused. I need I need exact verbiage on what it should yeah, say. We need, I'm not we need a think, true statement. Kathy, in mm -hmm. order to have this clear, consistent, and actionable, I think we need to have this sentence read, what is it we're in the bottom line we're paying? I frankly don't care whether it's 3 or 2.3 or whatever. It's shocking. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Okay, so I computed, if you, so can I, quickly explain what actually happens, then you can tell me which number you would like to have in here, okay? So the the what the state does is that takes the average spending that we spend per student, transfers that amount with one small adjustment to the charter school for each of the students that opts for that. So it would be the same average whether they went to the Chinese Immersion or the Performing Arts School. And for the kids w that end up going to the Chinese Immersion School, that tuition ends up being nearly $3 million for 128 kids because our average spending is in the $22 to $24, $1,000 per kid, which we send a lot more per kid than the other schools. But at the town and regional level, the state does a partial reimbursement, like 10% back to us. So they take that tuition, ship it over to the school, and then in the um, cherry sheet, we get a partial reimbursement. I have both numbers. And so whatever you want, <laughs> I can put in here. So the net will be not nearly three. It will be, I, I computed it this afternoon for just the Chinese immersion. And I have that number here. So the net, my estimate of the net is uh, 2.6 million instead of 2.9. <laughs> so, Perfect. So Leave should it, it at still that. be sends? And it, it, I think it diverts. And diverts. It maybe we should just read the funding formula. Or the funding something. formula nearly. Like, you know, what it, it needs a it needs a verb. Diverts. Yeah, because it what happens is it gets subtracted from our chapter 70 and other education money. We never see this money. There's a cherry seat. They give us money, but they take it away, and then there's the net. But but this would be from Amherst, and are you okay with Amherst schools? Because this is both the regional and the, the Amherst district. And the re we, unfortunately, unlike Northampton, we don't have just one. So we, if you want to, every place that says the Amherst schools, it means both. I'm adding both of them together. I think we need to clarify Amherst and regional. Okay. I think we need to say Amherst Elementary School and, and Amherst Pelham Regional Schools. Which it does for the hundred. It see it follows from the elementary and regional. So that okay. Um, so I think we and I can. I have to give you two source notes for that because one gives me the exact tuition that's sent by each district to PVCS. Then separately, I know the reimbursement, and I just did it. I ratioed it because. There are 70 kids who leave our elementary, but only 69 go to PPC, 69 of them go. You know, yeah. so I can give you how I got to the 2.6. Kathy, they could really you just tell us, could you just tell us where you got the data from? And that way we could include this. Whereas using DESI data, it was determined that the flawed funding formula diverts. That might be a helpful. Well, I can't see, I can't. No, okay. De Desi gives you tuition sent to the school. The town has a cherry sheet that tells us how much was reimbursed for each of our two main bodies. So it's state okay. data. What? 
It's state data. It's All of that is state data. State, according to state data. Perfect. Okay. Thank so you. I'm, thank you. Uh, I want to go to counselor, other counselor questions who haven't had a chance yet. Counselor Ate? Um, I think part of what I wanted to ask has been resolved, but I was just wondering about the word flood. Yes. We are in a way being conciliatory. And... You, can, you can take, you can take, you can do anything you want to take those kinds of words out. I don't okay. care. Okay. I just the, have to tell current, you the current funding formula. Yeah, the current funding formula. I almost think it's stronger to not have the opinion word in there, to be honest. Yeah. I, um, I think Lynn, it, yeah. Yeah. I think it, that's fine. I think it's fine. Okay. Um, all right, Kathy, was there anything else uh, or anywhere else you wanted to speak to other than I'm, well, before we get through? No, it would only, as I said, I don't, um, when I looked at uh, some of the Mandy comments, but I didn't get to see all of these, I am fine with any wordsmithing on this, you know, for c clarity, consistency, and, and other that, that if missing words. Um, so if there is a question on um, okay so for example the, there's one other the one cir the circuit breaker i have a source note for that <laughs> on how much did do we spend and pvc has none um so and um, there's one other comment i think that might be helpful to have you respond to mandy had commented on the whereas in the years since PVCICS last requested to expand, Amherst has been required by the state to divert 3.2 million for 160 students and a cumulative 28 million to send tuition to students enrolled in area charter schools. Uh, and Mandy wrote that uh, it was misleading. Amherst has been assessed 1.5 million in FY25. The region, not just Amherst, has been assessed 1.5 million. Assessments are not diversions. They're money Amherst never actually receives. We don't yeah, write a check to PV. It's, complete, it's completely correct. It's Amherst Elementary and Regional together sent. And I can simplify it even more for you um, rather than the years. I was using a Northampton one when I wrote this. And you can say, whereas, um, I'll give you a big new beginning. Where is, as in FY25, Amherst and the Amherst Pelham Regional has been is assessed by the state a net three point two million is it still for one hundred and sixty students? Yeah, that's accurate. Okay. The rest is and rest. and. And uh, oh, and so what I want to say here is when you subtract the amount that is being sent, the net that's being sent each year from the total education, our education money has been about flat. <laughs> so we don't need the cumulative 28 is is since uh, 2017. That's true. So I'm just inverting them. Yeah. It's a cumulative 28 million since 2017, the last time they asked to expand. Um, but this okay. isn't this is in total. This is the whole charter formula is doing this to us. Yeah. I'm just looking through to make and sure. I, and and Freca's objection to flawed, you can, you're gonna see it appear frequently. Take it out every place. I just okay. saw another flawed go by floating by my eyes. <laughs> All right. Um... So the um, one of the questions Mandy asked is why are we sending it to just the people at the bottom? I think um, one of the purpose of this is that we can submit it to um, the board. We can uh, submit it to our representatives. So I think Mandy had said, um, who who do we want to send this to? So again, I don't care what you do with that. I I will say that. Yeah, I, I mean, I think we'll add. 
Yeah. So our I, representatives I, always want to receive these things. Right. So yeah, so yeah. We'll, on, we'll on mo most of the other things are pretty much wordsmithing in my. Uh, so mm -hmm. I mainly came okay. on because I'd seen there was a question about fact, and I agree the facts should be accurate, and where needed we should have a source note. Um, and if you find there are too many whereases, um, I had difficult. I felt it was wordy. If there's places you can be more concise, that's great. Okay. okay. So I do. One thing I just want to let everyone know, and then I will leave you to to do your work, is the um, I downloaded the documents uh, for the rationale for them wanting to expand, and they're going after more high school students by doing an enriched program because they've got three point three million dollars in surplus because of the way this formula works. It's we we're paying them more than they spend on the students every year. And particularly Amherst is, they have had enough to buy a building and revamp it, which they used ESSER funds for. And their projection is three years from now, they will generate a million dollars a year in surplus, is what they have submitted to the board as the rationale for why it would be good for them to expand. <laughs> and the only way I can see them getting there is they're going after uh, are juniors and seniors because some high school students I think are not staying with them as long as they might because of the limited physical capacity of the building. It doesn't have playing fields. It doesn't have theater and art spaces, and that's what they're looking to expand. So this, um, because it does, there's no adjustment in the formula for the fact that we still have to heat the building for all of our fixed costs. There's nothing, and. I did put in this, I found out California spent finances charters directly, mm -hmm. Minnesota finances them directly, Connecticut finances, they don't take it out of the district tax base, and then they negotiate with the charter over their budgets. So it's, yeah. we, we started on this path, and it's uh, what we're now seeing what it does over time. Thank um, you, Kathy. So that's my... A soapbox, which I have to write for a Gazette article rather than a a nice toned down resolution. <laughs> but uh, there there will probably be fewer whereases in the Gazette article, I'm sure. Um, and, thank and you I, for. And for I did clarifying. do I did do the big difference between they spend eighteen thousand dollars a year versus our elementary at twenty four. It's special mm -hmm. needs. That's the right. biggie. That is okay. the really biggie. They they don't have the children with the high needs, so they don't have to staff up for it. That's it. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, Kathy. Have a good Thanks, night. Kathy. Um, Lynn, why don't you go ahead next? And then we'll then we'll start doing line by line. But I I was I'm prepared to go, just go line. You by want to do line by line? Okay. All right. Um, any issues with councilor sponsors? It should I think just say council sponsors. In keeping with prior um, whatever's okay. Uh, first, whereas. I mean, if you want to get rid of fatal or fatally um, and, and still make the point, you could say deeply flawed or simply flawed, or you could leave it the way it is. Um, I, I think seems, deeply yeah. flawed or just flawed is fine. Yeah, I, okay. I think, right. Councilor Ate? Flawed is great. Okay. Um, do we capitalize? We capitalize yeah. all whereas is the whole thing. No, I know, no, no. That wasn't my question. Uh if we're saying regional schools, it's lowercase, right? Even okay, yeah. Um I, this was sorry, this was my I'm just gonna let it go. All right. Um next whereas. I added in Desi last time it just said the board. Yeah. It's not the board, it's it's Desi. Um and then I added that it was students um, and just like a quick edit because I had already specified Dusty earlier. Mm -hmm. Are folks okay with those changes? Yes. Okay. Um, and then I added in the current charter funder formula. I generally found oh, this um, to be confusing because it switches from broad funding formula issues to Amherst specific. I think it, it needs a little bit of a clarity rewrite here. Oh, so I find some traditional funding money from public schools by assessing the districts. Just say it should just say, exactly. It should just say dis assessing districts, districts. for. 
Um, yeah, that, that distracts. <laughs> um, that is clearer to me. And then I don't know that we need this whole list, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Next up, whereas according to, oh, and I just did some quick edits Let here. me just read this again. Whereas yep. according to the state data, the current, why don't we say according to state data sources? Because it's more than one. Yep. The current funding formula diverts 2.6 million a year from Amherst and Amherst Pelham Regional School. See, I would say Amherst, okay, not Amherst Schools and Amherst Pelham Regional uh, Regional um, Amherst Elementary Schools. We have to get consistent. Either we're going to say it one way or the other. Amherst because Elementary they are school. called the Amherst School Committee and not the Amherst Elementary School Committee, I've been mm -hmm. referring to them as Amherst Schools. Okay. That was my thought there, but I'm open to it. I, I agree we should use one or the other. So, so it should be Amherst Schools and Amherst Pelham Regional Schools. Is that what you want to say? Yeah. Right? Insert school. I mean, I liked it this way, but I will put it the other way. Well, otherwise, well, it's from Whichever Amherst, way we're going to do it, we just yeah. need to do it consistently, consistently throughout. Okay, we'll and, that, and the schools in this case, I think, would be capitalized. And over here would be capitalized. That's good. Next one. Okay. Wait, sorry. Can I ask a question? Undermining municipal as well as school budgets? Well, it does because then they want the money from us. So, but is that, but is that the direct, I mean, I get that, but should we say school first? Because I oh, yeah. would argue that Undermining a, school and and I, I don't fine. know that. Fine, all right, okay, okay, I don't see. Yeah, let's not. Right. Um, right. Yeah, school can, committee opposed yeah. the expansion. Of the this thing is wordy enough as it is. So, voted to send a letter. Um, the question is a letter to. Um, why don't this we just was, say voted to oppose? Because I'm not sure whether it's a letter or, or resolutions. It's a letter. I watched them. Yeah, but I is both are both of them letters. Uh, I thought so. I think All right, voted. A resolution. I'll, I'll, I think, okay, to oppose. Yes. Okay. Um, these are two different meetings, so, right? Yes. Okay. Um, and I'm going to delete that. Okay. Next up. Um, I, I agree with taking out that sub section there, too. No, sorry. I had an issue with this. This was a really confusing way to phrase votes to me. Oh, okay. Um, can you just take it out? I mean, I, I, can we get rid of some of these whereases? Is this really important? I think we could just say in 2016, when charter school expansions were on the ballot statewide, uh, Mass or 62% of Massachusetts voters, 78% of Amherst voters, and 74% of Hampshire County voters opposed lifting the cap. Excellent. Okay. That's that okay. be, that's a better way to put it, yes. Um, do county next. Excellent. And what was it? 78%? 78%, 78 yeah. And I just think that makes it clearer. Always lifting the cap on charter schools. Yeah. Period. Good. And, and our semicolon and. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And the next. Um, yeah. I deleted this. Yeah. Um, I don't know where that came from. Okay. And that, that was just a major thing there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Is this, this a should... footnote? Yes. It's a footnote, but the. Um, what did she delete? Oh, the space. It's just deleting spaces. Yeah, and I want to move that to after the. There we go. Ah, um, okay. And that footnote goes to that down here, which 24. we just changed. What? I don't think this is the right way to phrase this. Had uh, documented, we could say had documented disabilities. We can't. I, I think that would be better. It's a. Yes. Yes. Good. Okay. Um, and I think that should, should say 
23% uh, of Amherst Elementary School students and 26% of Amherst. Um, is there a dash? There's a dash, yeah, right? Regional I've done it, yeah. School students. And Amherst Elementary should be capitalized. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Councilor Ate. I was wondering if we use um, numerals for dates or we use 11 19 or November 19, 2024. Yeah. I don't I know that we have a specific way, but I will change this to November. Um, hang on, see. Uh, regional for from Amherst Regional Schools. It's uh, from November, right? Uh, and yeah. this was this Amherst Pelham Regional or Amherst Elementary? That was out. I thought it was the elementary school that did the. It was the elementary. Elementary who was, met on the nineteenth. They 19th? just met. They just met okay. on Monday night, didn't they? They met on Tuesday. Tuesday night. It was just the Amherst schools. Okay. Um, and that would be the school committee, though. Yeah. Okay. Get in. Get in. Okay. Okay. Back. Where were we? Footnote. Where's my footnote? You're down below. Oh, I'm way up here. I know. I'm going back to where the footnote was from. All right. Councilor Arte? We had made the change in the footnote. So I was wondering here, oh, we're sorry. told, no, not the footnotes, we're still back there. Oh, oh, oh. Um, serves a student population with fewer special needs disabled. I don't, that's not the verbiage that we use. That's not the verbiage we use footnotes. We we used something different. I'm wondering if that's the... No, we said we said documented disability, but I I, I don't Does think... Special needs cover that. Special all? needs covers that. Okay, yes, yeah, so we're deleting that. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, special needs students. Language language By the way, the footnote right. actually belongs after special needs students. Yeah, you're right. It does. Thank you. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. Um, anything else with this? Uh, English language learners is all of that capitalized because that's an acronym typically. ESL, yeah. I feel like I need to call my partner downstairs to explain some of this to me because she would know the correct verbiage. <laughs> um, guest star. All right. Next up. Whereas, I I don't like this. A few intensive needs students. I don't like this at all. I would actually like to just take this out because I don't. Why? Sorry. Because a few special needs students is really confusing. We have no data source for it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mm -hmm. just think it's easily questioned. Okay. And it's 8.15. And I don't want to go searching for that source. But um, Lynn, do you have the source? Um, I could get one, but... Um... Why don't we just say Amherst School spends $3 million on just um, intensive needs students that qualified for circuit breaker aid compared to none, that makes it true. Just take out the words on a few. Got it. Okay. All right, great, thank you. Um, I think that should say at, not in, right? Okay. Uh, whereas benefits the more intensive need, yeah. higher cost students in all their schools. Amherst. Schools. schools because let's see formula. Capital S and after Amherst put the word schools. I don't <laughs> I'm just I'm sorry. I know. I That's just fine. don't I feel like it's redundant to have it in both places. Um, but it's fine. So, so yeah. Okay, rest is good. I again no, I, I want to take this out 
the state formula doesn't use Amherst spending. The state formula uses school spending yes. or town spending Take that out. and transfers funds to charter schools without. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and isn't this mix of student needs? It's not just the mix of students. It's the mix of student needs, right? Yes. Okay. Um, Mama, you are earning your place as a sponsor of this document. I might want to remove my name. Okay. Uh, right <laughs> whereas, whereas. Certain sponsors are conspicuously absent this evening, but you are here. So thank you. I'm, I'm here okay. too. Okay. I Lynn, know, is, Lynn, Lynn you have great. earned I'm, your I'm, place. I'm All right. More your presence as well. Okay. But, uh, a couple other names up on that list. Oh, okay. Uh, not here. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I know. <laughs> um, the Amherst right. Uh, Hold on. I, I, I um just give me two seconds because I actually you're fine. Did this, this one earlier. Oh, you okay? Okay. Um. Well, you take your two seconds. I need to get my water really quick. One sec. Keep. Talk amongst yourself. Okay, it's 8, 8 17. I'm going to make a motion to. Oh, <laughs> well, the oh, chair is not here. You just can't hear me. I'm using. <laughs> Too late. We just did it. <laughs> George made a motion. All right. I'm not going to say what it was for, but I think you have an idea what it was. <laughs> All right. So, uh, we'll, as my we'll dad would say, we are getting chippy. Okay. Yes, um, we yes, we are. Lynn, did you find okay. what you're looking for? Mandy Joe's point is Amherst has been assessed around 1.5 million. The region is a different entity, has been assessed 1.5 million. So I think if we say Amherst schools. Yeah. And Amherst and region the Pelham. Amherst Pelham region. Yes. Are assessed. Right. By the state to divert a net. I think this is how we fix that. A net mm -hmm. of 3.2, right? Million. Uh, um, you want million in there, don't you? Still, you don't want million taken I up. do. I do. $3.20. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, All right. <laughs> what a dream. And a cumulative 28 million, I take it cumulative over since 2000. I don't know. What does cumulative mean here? It's over a certain period of time. Starting uh, from what, 2017? Since the beginning, probably. Since the beginning of time. I, it's, time. I, I have no idea. Okay. It just say. I, I think we should take this out. Yeah. I think it still makes a really strong point. I'm guessing. What do you think? The, the original statement was 2017. Cumulative. Uh, assuming yeah. I think it, it doesn't. To today. But now we've taken it out. It does. Yeah. All right. So I think either you put it back in or you take cumulative out. It's a pretty big number. It's a pretty impressive number, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay. I have a suggestion for how we could change it, but I want to hear from Councillor Arte first. Uh, Councillor Arte, go ahead. No, this is a case where it may appear as if it's 2017, but can we be sure that it is 2017? If it is, if we believe so, then we could keep it in. 28 is a huge number but if it not, is you it, it is it, it it makes sense if you think about it it makes it calculating it makes sense could we say whereas in fiscal year 25 amherst schools in the amherst pelham region were oh, were right yeah were are anyway someone help me with that one assessed by the state a net of 3.2 million for 160 students and since 20, since PVCICS last requested to expand its enrollment in 2017, a cumulative 28 million. Yes. Go ahead and make that change, and then I'll come up with something for the what end. I just say, okay, and since 2017, when? Yes. PVCIS, PVCIS, whatever. PVCIS. Last, last requested to requested. expand its enrollment. Good. A cumulative. Have you got a correct yeah. enrollment and you got to get correct. Right. I know. That's all right. You're doing great. You're doing, great. doing better than I can. Million. Okay. 
undermining uh, the stability of the Amherst Public Schools and educational resources for our students. Yeah, Just yeah, yeah. Our yeah, students. Yeah. For our students. Okay. God. I think this now keeps that big scary number in in a yes. powerful way while Good. being accurate. This is turning into a nightmare to read. Our folks, I can accept changes as we go to make it easier if people would like. Okay. Just uh, Councilor Ette? Not a change to make it easier to read, but where? That's okay. Oh, it is without that. an H. Yeah. Where are you? Were. Oh, it should right. be were. You take out the H. Yep. Got gotcha. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for it. All right. Does this now make sense? Yes. All right. Excellent job, everybody. Good Good it up. Got it. <laughs> Yeah. All right. I was trying to beat everybody's hands on that one. Okay. You're too, um, quick. You're too quick. Wait, hang on. So the funny formula is if this yeah, is can I add across statement. the state or something? Just no. to our charter school has itself. No, no, but this is saying this is it goes from broad to specific. And I, I just want to clarify where it's oh, broad yes, and where it's specific. Yes. If, that, if that's okay. Funding formula is the same time generating surpluses for charter schools across the, across state, the state, including okay. a kilometer of surface. That's, that is correct. Okay. Thank you. Um, all right. The funds. The okay. effect or the yeah, impact. Right. <laughs> the impact of the funds diverted to charter schools on the budgets are substantial. Comma representing six percent of the upper elementary operating budget. Yeah, I'm not. I'd love to. Yeah, it's a little awkward. The impact of funds. Uh, I want to check Mandy's. The impact comment. is substantial. Just so say it's substantial. Of the funds diverted to charter schools is okay. On the budgets of our schools is substantial. Oops. So the budgets of our schools, yeah, good. This is a valuable right. cheat sheet for some of us, uh, you know, to keep on hand. For, uh, so, and yeah. do we just, I think we just want to take out representing whatever, because I'm not clear about that. But okay. don't take out the colon in the end. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, uh, actually... With that taken out, which may be right, I'm not sure this is really needed then. Yeah, they're redundant. They it's, are. It's just, it's just kind of weak. Without that 6%, which is pretty sizable. And if we're not I, confident... In it, I think this one is out. weaker. Yeah, we just take it out. Okay. That's great. I like that. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> the Amherst Area Schools or Amherst and Amherst, Amherst Schools and Amherst... Pelham. Pelham. Regional, regional schools and then a comma right okay yep that's good and we're, the word and does stay there so, yeah Taub was no she wasn't deleting it Taub was saying they were missing uh words here but I think we've clarified yeah. okay whereas k-12 k-12 isn't an age k-12 is a grade can we just take k-12 students Yes. So the number has declined steeply and is forecast to continue to decline. Thus, our region does not need expanded capacity. Straightforward. Leave it as is. Fine. Yeah. Okay, next step. Strenuous advocacy over many years by regional representatives in the state legislature, Chapter 7. We don't need region. No, okay. mind. It's fine. But representatives? In, okay. Yeah, you could take it out. I it doesn't matter. It, by our I was uh, our, our was what I thought made more sense, but yes, that makes I sense. are representatives. Our representatives in the Give state legislature. Yeah. Chapter seventy state funding has failed to offset the loss in annual assessments for charter schools. Net state support of education has failed to keep pace with the costs of providing quality education to public schools that serve a broad spectrum of students. So yeah. Mandy's comment is this is not why what we why we've been advocating for increased chapter 78 and to imply that it is is misleading and dangerous and disingenuous and it's disingenuous because 
I don't know. I'm not sure this is if this is clarity. Do we have a do we have a voted on by the council reason why we've been advocating for changes in the formula? Councilor Ette? Um, I think this is a criticism that could be brought up in the council meeting itself. And if it turns out that this statement is disingenuous, then we can as a council just get rid of it. Right, exactly. Yeah. Right. I agree. Mandy did say she's like, I, I did my best at trying to figure out what was for GOL or not. Um, but there might be some things that are council discussions. So if we don't if she wishes, right? Thank okay. Um, okay. All right. Whereas the reliance on uh by the state, excuse me. On assessing local municipalities to fund charter schools has resulted. Is municipalities in capitalized? I don't know that we've always been no. And no. also we've been inconsistent on our capitalization of the state. Um, I think when it's the state, it it is capitalized, but I'm uh we'll have to, I I will go back through just to make sure. Okay. So as oh, result sorry. of Amherst receiving no net increase in state education funding from 2020 to 2025 after subtracting assessments for charter tuition from chapter 70 and other state funding, other state education funding. And then we have a period which we don't like. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is it? I, I, I this should, should, should say as I don't oh. Jennifer's suggestion was incorrect and it, as education costs continue to rise this has meant a decline in state support of our public schools all right it, it should if, to satisfy Mandy Joe say this along with other factors has meant a decline mm-hmm State support for, uh, and we will just specify here, uh, support of the school. Oh, it's not even a word. We have a new town. Uh, we do. <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> Regional schools. You're doing a great job. Stick with uh, it. Thank you. Okay. Um. I don't know why that duplicated. It's something funky with footnotes, but we'd already oh, fixed that. Still oh my God. Okay. All right. We're on the last page and it's only a yeah. two thirds yeah. page. Right, and first. look, so few. Okay. Um, okay. It feels like we need a comma somewhere in here, but I don't know if that's just because I like commas. The Massachusetts charter funding formula is in effect a tax on local districts without regard to like, the drain on schools and local budgets. Shouldn't there be in a something in there? Like no, is in effect. No? All right, fine. No, it should be is in effect the tax. Ugh. It should be budgets, not budget. Mm-hmm. A sharp contrast to many other states. Just end it right there. Uh well, you don't think we can say which fund charter schools directly? Yeah, no, that's 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 no, leave it in. Leave it in. Which fund? that fund okay okay there was debate uh jennifer and mandy deleted each other's comments they canceled each <laughs> other out one of them thought which one of them thought that so who whose grammar do we like more As, from i which think we that? should ask counselor ette on this one he's the grammarian counselor ette chief grammarian what what say you um i think that goes without a comma um and I prefer that actually. Okay. Okay. Whereas, even Senator, I don't like Comfort. even in there. I think yeah. it should just say whereas just say Senator Senate. Comerford's attempts. Yeah. Attempt, attempt during fiscal year 2025. Let's we are inconsistent. Thing. Sorry. Sometimes we say FY25. Sometimes we say fiscal year 25. I, let's say let's pick one. Okay. FY25, I think, is what we've used. It has been. Uh, that's easier than going back and changing all the other ones. Okay. To create a task, task force. force to take out merely yeah. to study and make recommendations for updating the calculation of required local. My God. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Die in the legislature. That's true. Okay. All right. It's a statement of fact. It is. Well, I don't know if they use the word died, but I, it's Let's, still true. Um, we'll leave that it, in. Actually, it never made it into the bill. 
um, was just, it should say, uh, never made it into the bill. Yes. I, okay. Sorry, George. That's all right. Into the final budget, I, but bill, final bill. It the budget is a bill. That's fine. Okay. Whereas without fundamental reform, I want there to be a comma there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, be it, therefore, be it resolved that the Amherst. This is not usually capitalized and bolded. Okay. Oops. Typically, see now, therefore, we, be it resolved. the Amherst, Amherst Town, Town Council do hereby resolve that I we join. Say and join with. Um, okay, we the Amber Town Council. Maybe it should be uh, we the Amber Town Council joining with da 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 da, da resolve to right committee. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, our Council Arte, I see you. You can go ahead and start talking. Um, this is for the previous paragraph. I'm just wondering if that is the we don't go back. Okay, go ahead. Regional school. <laughs> Whereas in the regional school. I know, I know, I know, I know. Go ahead, Councilor Arte, sorry. Yeah, whereas without fundamental reform, is it the same typeface size as it looks weird to me too? Yeah. I will let me double I'll double check that in a second. Okay. Thank you. Um, hang on. That now, therefore, we the Amherst Town Council join with the Amherst School Committee, the Amherst Pelham Regional School Committee, and the Northampton City Council to hereby resolve. Why don't, can I just say, it's so it's a resolution, so we right. typically resolve something, right, resolve right. to something. Right. Um, and they're not resolving it with us. Right? No, that's what's throwing me. Yeah. Uh, we resolve to do X. Um, we, the Amherst, okay. In so, okay. You could say in solidarity with or in support of, we then resolve. But right now it sounds like they're resolving with us. It says basically joining with them to resolve, and they're not joining with us to resolve anything. They've you done their own thing. Yeah. Resolve. That's why part of me wants this to be like something different. Um. Anyway, uh, do you hereby resolve? In Councilor Ate? in collaboration, in conjunction with. Well, I think we want to we want to resolve what we want to say what we're resolving first, and then say hmm. in as. In stand and stand with our other blah blah blahs in doing the same, but I think we need to clarify what it is we're resolving. Um, we resolve that the Commonwealth's Board of Education of L of ES. We resolve that the Commonwealth's that's a capital Commonwealth. I know, and that isn't. There yeah. we go. Uh, okay. Board, Board of, of Elementary and Secondary Education. And it's Commonwealth's. Uh, I know. Um, elementary, elementary and secondary and education. Secondary reject. Education. The proposed. Um, proposed. There you go. I got it. Yeah. Right. All of that. I mean, right. Um, we could add another, whereas it says, and be it further resolved, we stand with the Amherst School Committee, Amherst Pel Regional School Committee, and Northampton City Council like in that. doing the same. I like that. Um, okay. Be it further resolved that we... That the Amherst Town Council. Town, to bound. Okay. Right. Got it. Stands with the... Amherst School Committee, the Amherst Pelham Regional School Committee, and the Northampton City Council in call in uh, calling upon in yeah, or, calling uh, yeah. for these changes for for oh, we're actually asking calling upon them to do something. They were calling, we're calling for them that. to reject this proposal. Yeah. 
Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I keep thinking we're, re we're changing the formula. Um, in calling for <laughs> the reject. That's the next one. Not in of our this lifetime. proposal. Yeah, I'm afraid. And be it, yeah, fonts are weird here. I will I'll fix that in a second too. Mm -hmm. My contacts are sorry, drying out. Um be it further resolved that the Amherst Council Amherst Town Council President. Well, this isn't the verbiage we typically use. Uh, we typically say cause for this, blah, blah, blah. Um, give me a second. Yeah, it's happened to the screen. But... Uh oh, really? Yeah, I mean, it's suddenly chopped off. Oh, oh, yeah, it's chopped off because I was trying to find something else. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. my God. The way you just made me panic, Councilor Ryan. Okay. Uh, let me find something to pull language from. Hang on. Because, you know, we we have verbiage that we typically use. Mm -hmm. We typically say we shall cause for this letter to be sent to. Um, oh my gosh, where's, where's any council resolution that we've sent? <laughs> we didn't send shop local anywhere, right? No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Ugh. okay i if there's anything else for us to talk about while i dig one up so you're looking for language for this this next to last be it further result yeah the like shall cause yeah. for copies yeah. of this right no i understand resolution um i always use the pride one because i'm very proud of it all right here we go let's see did we send any of that Nope. Oh my God. We're not doing a letter. Is it the Emerson? We're not Connect doing a letter. So we're not Pride sending anything. And... I think we just say that this resolution is shared with or something like that. Shall be sent to. It it's yeah, there is a I just want to pull it I have for the something. You have so, it? This is the um Gaza resolution. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Yeah. What so, what did we say? Be it for the resolve that the clerk of the Amherstown Council shall cause a copy of this resolution to be Hang sent. Hang on, can you go slower, go slower, go slower? The clerk of the Amherst Amherstown Council shall cause a copy of this resolution to be sent to <laughs> Okay. President Joe Biden. Yeah, we're sending this one to Biden too. Yeah, to I think Biden, the fact yeah. that we should cuss a copy is really good. I <laughs> swear to God, yeah. I will yeah. cuss a copy. I, that is I, the copy the, the that be sent to. I can't wait for the articles about this meeting. Okay, um, shall cause a copy of this to be sent to, and then to we the have Governor Lieutenant Governor. It should that. say to Governor Mora Healy. Healthy. Oh my God. Someone yeah, else yeah. type. Maura Healy. Um, Lieutenant Le Governor Kim Driscoll. The Lieutenant, right? Le <laughs> Use LT, period. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kim Driscoll, two L's. I know that one. I don't You're know if the lieutenant. You know, no, but I can't spell it right. Apparently, there's an okay. S though, right? Uh, uh, Secretary right. of um, Education. Jeff Tutwiler. Um, is it? No, it's not Jeff Tutwiler anymore. Who is it now? I'm going to look it up right now. Thank you, um, Secretary. Um, and then, are we just sending it to Desi? The fact that this continues to be called the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education is driving me nuts. Uh, Secretary of Education, so and so, and the Department of and the, Elementary. It's the Commissioner. Commissioner. It's the Commissioner of Education. Tut well, Patrick Tutwiler is the. Secretary. What did I say, Jeff Tutwiler? I was close. It is Patrick, Patrick with a K, Tut and it's T U T W I L E R. T U T W I L E R from yeah. the Department of Elementary. And secondary education. And he is the commissioner. commissioner. Okay. 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 So be it for the resolve that the clerk of the Amherst Town Council shall cause a copy of this resolution to be sent to Governor Maura Healy, Lieutenant Governor Kim Driscoll, 
Commissioner of Education Patrick Tutwiler and the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education and to speak with he them is, expressing it, it, that is oh oh he is the commissioner of DESE. Yeah. The commi okay. it's not so commissioner, it's Secretary of Education, Patrick Tutwaller. And Commissioner of Elementary and Secondary Education. We don't and have I a think name. We should say, and the Commissioner and Board of sec Elementary and Secondary Education. And that's they have a board. B. Okay. Yeah. Capital B. Um, okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, and mm -hmm. to explain. Are we keeping this last part and to speak with them it, to express this body strong opposition? Yes. To whom? To all of them? Yes. I don't understand. We're, we're having a copy of this letter sent to all these people. It, it, and it, 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 we are what? We are. And that makes no sense to me. What am I? I, I think that, Lynn, because the, the body has authorized this resolution that does enable you to speak on the board's behalf on the on the council's behalf yes, about what's in this resolution yeah. right so i don't I think don't, that we we don't need the rest okay and uh, a, a colon and yeah and this typically is the last one so i actually was shouldn't this go up here it should and then i'll add the and here Yes. And, and then, then I'll add a period, period here. Yeah. Okay. I move that we declare. <gasps> Wait, we didn't talk about this one. I'm sorry. We didn't talk about this one yet. The, the further result, one. we urge the Amherst representatives in the state legislature. We don't, we typically name them, but that's fine. Uh, and we typically, sh we should send this to them too. Oh, yes, they should. Uh, uh, representative. Tiv, Tiv. yeah, close enough. And be done. And, and Senator, State Senator, Senator goes first. Senator, Senator goes. Senator first. goes for. I thought Senator went. I thought last was more was bigger, yeah. but all right, all right. Okay. Okay. Uh, any issues with this last one? And be it further resolved, we urge. The Joe and Mindy. But now we should take. We urge the. Couldn't we just say we urge the state legislator legislature yes to achieve or to address? Well, yeah. It, I mean, the really the real thing we're saying here is that we just really want to back Mindy, Joe, and Mindy. Okay, then why don't we say we support the Amherst representatives in the state legislature in, in their, their efforts, efforts to achieve? Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. fine. That's good. That's good. They're, they're certainly uh, doing everything they can. Right. All right. In their efforts to achieve fundamental reforms leading to more equitable and expanded funding in the Commonwealth's public yeah. schools. And okay. Lynn, did you say that you had a motion? Yes. I move that we declare this clear, consistent, and actionable. A second. Is there a second? Wait, hang on. I got to write this down. Um, I see yes. All right. Uh, George, you seconded? Yes, I did. All right, I'm going to call the vote. Uh, Councillor Ette? Aye. Uh, I am an aye. Councillor Ryan? Aye. And Lynn? Aye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're fine. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to save this. I will accept the, our edits. The good news is on the next one, we actually did everything except for the two additions. You want to try and get this one done too? I mean, we have to. We have to. We have Sorry, to. friends. We got to. Because there's Why do we December. have to? <laughs> because human rights matter. I can think, are... think of things we have to. So, okay. George, okay. so that you and I can stand out on the North yes. Common and freeze to death. But And read this with. with and no, read no, this. No, this, yes. is, this is important. I agree. So, all right. Here do we you go. have the one I sent you? And look this at all those sponsor you, names. This is look the one you sent me. I thought. Is this not the one you sent me? I think so. I hope it is. Hold on. This is the one I downloaded from you um, with edits and questions. Well, to use an ancient sports metaphor, we're now in OT. 
We are, and we are going to be. Becca knows what that means. He knows. What okay, that means. I, Lynn, it, I found it. I found the edits. Okay. Sudden death OT. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's frustrating because it means I was looking at the wrong thing. All right. Okay, this is the right thing. This yeah. is this is the one that they have now suggested. Oh my god. One in okay. green. Okay, they've been working on it some more. They have. Oh, that's right, because we had some issues about the United Nations right, state. But remember, right, we exactly. did everything else. Right. Okay, so let's uh, take a yeah, look at what they do. Okay, all right. See, that looks okay. Called on everyone. Fine. Now that's um, I want to just accept the change so that we can see it. That's fine. Is that okay? All right. All right, so they said... I still think this should be stated and I wish that they gave us a date. Oh, they did. They, you sent us a link. This is 26th of February, 2024. Okay. So whereas I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to add it in. Whereas on February, Mary, oh my golly gee willikers, February. <laughs> what did I just say? 26th? 26th. <laughs> Thank you. We don't 26. have the name of the general. I'm going to get you a name in one moment. Thank you. Good for you. Um, 2024, United States Nations Secretary General. Uh, I'll get it for you. I get it. Antonio Gutierrez. It's Gutierrez. Okay. Yep. Okay. I was like going back through. I was like, anyway. Uh, yeah, I it. That can't be the right spelling. Stated. I copied and pasted it from You're the kidding. website. That's how he spells his last name? It's, yes. And it should be stated. Okay. Yes, it will be stated. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll take that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Stated. Why is this format it's so S T A T? I know that. It's set to it's set to this formatting that I hate. Hang on. Ah. I'll deal with that later. I can't <laughs> deal. Can't this really is gonna drive me bonkers. I know. I'm sorry. I don't know how to do this. Hang on. And there, and the other one that we asked them about was this whole thing referring to New Mexico, and they struck the whole thing. Okay. What that's about good. New Mexico? Why is this panel? No, still let's here? finish what we're doing before we go to New Mexico, please. Okay. And can we? All right. I don't know why it it won't go away. Go over to the right and hit that little X under comments. That should do it. Okay. No, no it it it's it fine. Do. Okay, that's fine. All right, we can read it. I gotta, sorry, I gotta make well, it all the see, same All the font. other changes were the ones we made before. Yeah, those are from us. Um, fine, go with Cambria. I'll change you to the other stuff later. Okay. Um, so then the other question. They just struck that. Took it out. Okay. Excellent, for the chairs. And we, we deleted that. Okay. So I move that we declare this clear, consistent, and actionable. I as second. edited. Excellent. Thank you. God killing me. I gotta write this down. All right, I'm gonna call the vote. Councillor Ette. Aye. Uh, uh Councillor Ryan. Aye. I am an aye. Lynn. Aye. All right. Uh that passes four in favor, none opposed, one absent. Uh, there's only one more motion we need tonight, folks. I move to adjourn. <laughs> Is there a second? George? I said, all right, fine. I will second it. Second. Uh, thank you. Um, we're getting uh, to be like council meetings. I mean, this is Councilor uh, Ryan. From, Look, you know, George, about body. halfway through, you stopped throwing thing. shade about me about paved roads and started throwing shade <laughs> at other people. So I'm fine. All right. Uh, did we vote on this already? No. Councilor Ryan, how do you vote? Sorry. I vote aye. Um, Lynn? Aye. Councilor Ate? Aye. And I am an aye as well. Thank you all so very You're much. Welcome. I Thank will you. see Good you again job. on the 5th. Yeah. And the 12th. All and the 12th. And again, and again, yes. All okay. right. Bye, everybody.